Hello, my name is Joachim Suter. I'm the founder of the Academy of Lymphatic Studies. And today I would like to talk to you about the importance of appropriate dosing levels for lymphedema treatments. In other words, how many treatments per week should ideally be applied in phase one, the intensive phase of complete decongestive therapy or CDT. As you know, um, complete decongestive therapy is performed in two phases. In phase one, um, also known as the intensive or decongestive phase, treatments are administered by a trained uh, lymphedema therapist, ideally on a daily basis, until the affected extremity or the affected body part is decongested. The end of the first phase of complete decongestive therapy is determined by the results of measurements on the affected body part, which are taken by the therapist. Once these measurements uh, approach a plateau, the end of phase one is reached and the patient progresses seamlessly into phase two of complete decongestive therapy, which is also known as the self-management phase. Now, phase two is an ongoing and individualized part of complete decongestive therapy in which the patient assumes responsibility for maintaining and improving the treatment results that were achieved in the intensive phase or in phase one of CDT. Now, back to dosing our topic for today. In the position statement of the National Lymphedema Network for the diagnosis and treatment of lymphedema, it is stated that, quote, optimally CDT should be performed daily, five days per week, until the reduction of fluid volume has reached a plateau, which can take uh, three to eight weeks. Some patients may uh, have good results from CDT with modifications to the frequency and duration of treatment. CDT frequency and duration should be individualized to produce the greatest reduction of swelling and improvement of skin conditions in the shortest period of time." End quote. Um, the International Lymphedema Framework's best practice document for the management of lymphedema states that, quote, patients undergoing standard intensive therapy must be carefully selected and be willing and able to commit physically and emotionally to daily intensive therapy, including participation in exercise programs, end quote. Now, I do agree with both statements. The best results in lymphedema treatment also in my experience are achieved if treatments are given on a daily basis, Monday through Friday, five times per week with weekends off. Will there be exceptions? Certainly, every lymphedema case is different and there is no clear-cut treatment approach. Treatment frequency depends on a multitude of factors such as the severity, and the stage of the swelling, the age and the general uh, physical condition of the patient, as well as any existing comorbidity, uh, such as uh, congestive heart failure or diabetes and others. There are also healthcare-related limitations, such as out-of-pocket expenses, like co-payments for treatment or the cost for compression uh, supplies, uh, there are transportation issues and general healthcare limits, which unfortunately seem to be the main reason for limitations and suboptimal dosing for lymphedema treatment these days. In a national survey labeled uh, Lymphedema Therapist Dosing of Complete Decongestive Therapy in Breast Cancer Survivors with Lymphedema, published uh, in December 2017, on the Internet Journal of Allied Health Sciences and Practice. It was reported then, uh, it was reported in that uh, survey in regard to the frequency the, that the average number of patient visits per week during phase one of CDT was 3.71. So an average of 3.7 treatments per week in phase one, according to the therapist trained in lymphedema therapy that participated in that survey. So the number in that survey is definitely lower than the recommended dosage for a CDT in phase one per week. However, I am not surprised by that number. I frequently hear from a certified lymphedema therapist that oftentimes these therapists are pressured by their employers to treat patients only two to three times per week. 
Now, evidence-based treatment protocols and uh, comparative clinical outcome studies for optimal dosage levels for complete decongestive therapy are certainly necessary. However, based not only on my own experience and observation, complete decongestive therapy is most effective if performed, as I said before, five times a, a week for a minimum of two weeks in most patients in the intensive phase. After that, treatment dosage may be reduced to three times per week if necessary until the lymphedema is decongested and the patient can be measured for a compression garment. The most substantial reduction in lymphedema volume generally occurs within the first three days of treatment. To achieve optimal results in the shortest time, patients should be treated Monday through Friday and instructed to wear the compression bandages over the treatment-free weekends. Adherence to this recommended dosage will certainly yield better treatment outcomes and less overall treatment visits. If treatments are applied only two or three times per week, the patient may be without treatment for three to four days that week. Now, this is not a good situation. In, in that case, patients and therapists will fight an uphill battle, which is caused by, uh, besides other uh, uh, reasons, the sliding of the compression bandages in the days without treatment. And the sliding of compression uh, uh, bandages will inevitably lead to uh, a reaccumulation of fluid in the affected extremity. So there is a constant uphill battle if uh, treatment is not uh, administered on a daily basis, five times per week. And this will surely lead to poor treatment outcomes, an increased overall length of treatment time and patient visits, as well as frustrations on both the patient's and the therapist's side. Now, one of the main reasons for not following the daily recommended dosing for CDT listed in the, in the therapist survey I just mentioned was that the therapist's dose determination was impacted by their uh, perception of the patient's readiness and adherence to lymphedema treatment and self-management. Now, patient motivation and compliance are an absolute necessity to achieve uh, good treatment results. It is therefore of utmost importance to explain the treatment protocol and the recommended dosage for uh, uh, treatments to the patient. Patients need to be aware that less than five uh, treatment sessions per week during the first two weeks of uh, treatment uh, during the intensive phase will lead to an increased number of treatment sessions and a longer overall treatment time. It is my personal experience that most patients that are well informed will recognize that trading a decreased number of weekly uh, visits in exchange for a much increased overall treatment time with most likely poorer results is a bad deal. Informed patients will be more motivated and ready to make themselves available and, if necessary, arrange for transportation during that time, if necessary. Now, to find out more about this topic and uh, other topics related to lymphedema and its, uh, and its treatment, I would like to invite you to go to a website with the name of Lymphedema Blog. Uh, this is a website dedicated to uh, patients affected by lymphedema and other forms of swelling like lipedema or uh, venous-caused swellings and provides free and up-to-date information on uh, treatments, management, diagnoses, and so on and so forth. Other uh, uh, treatment options such as co compression pumps uh, and others. Just go to www.lymphedemablog.com and if you look to the left of the website, there is a list of articles uh, related to lymphedema and its management. Just click on any of those articles that are of interest to you.